Hey everybody, it's Queen Bee Mary again. Um, I wasn't going to do a video tonight, but I decided to because I ordered some good Mexican food tonight. Um, it just came. So, um, let me tell you who I ordered from. I ordered my food from, uh, hold on. Uh, I ordered my food from El Sombrero Mexican Grill and um, I liked what I ordered so uh, let me bring it up and I will tell you what I ordered it is uh Uh, yeah, I had ordered from El Sombrero Mexican Grill, or some refried beans, some Mexican rice, and the chili rellenos they come in too, and they're usually big chili rellenos. I ordered some ceviche platter, and uh, so I got that. It comes with a free side of chips and salsa, but. I didn't want that, so um, this is our ceviche. I'm gonna try their ceviche, see how it tastes. Um, so, I'll show you see. It's really, I've eaten from them before. They're pretty good. Here's a ceviche. Ceviche. Looks good. I did bring my favorite trips. And I'm going to eat that with my favorite tortilla chips and my mixed skin mayo with lime. Uh, also, my favorite hot sauce again that I got from Big Guy Appetite. I love this one. Um, okay, so that's the chivichi. And it's hard for me to say words right because of my upper, par upper partials, which I did tell you guys at one time. I don't care. People can know. Um, my four top front teeth got pulled out even though they were healthy, but it was the phone that holds them in that wasn't healthy. It was uh, getting eaten away due to the diabetes. So the bone was going away. And so I had to uh, get those healthy teeth pulled out. I cried, so that, um, my um, dentist kind of teared up about it, but got parcels put in, so I'm good to go now. All right, so there's that, and here's the chili rellenos. These are huge. These are huge. Look at that. There's two chili rellenos in there. They are huge, and they're very cheesy, so I'll sit those right here because I'm going to eat those too. They do give you a lot of rice and beans. I know I probably won't eat all the rice and beans tonight. So, but it's all nice and warm and hot. It is, oh, this, 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 view. Ooh, these are hot. It's hot to the bottom. There's the refried beans with cheese. Ooh, those are hot. And I sit that right there. And put the lid right here on my table. My nightstand. I'm actually eating off my bed. Because I'm watching program tonight. I like the private practice. I'm starting. I started watching it from season one, so I'm in season three right now. Because my daughter got me hooked on it. Okay. And here is their Mexican rice. Yum yum. Can't wait. And to drink tonight, I've got my A and W zero sugar, and it's going in my. Queen Bee Mary Cup. So, lots of ice. So, let me put this there. Got this. Um, I don't know why I got this. Oh, yeah, I do. For the mayonnaise for the chibichi. So, I could put mayonnaise on my chips. Let's, let's grab some of these chips. And put them right here on my dish all right 
so that's us right here on this side say my prayers and we'll get into eating all right so how's everybody tonight i hope you guys had a great meal or having a meal um right now um before we get started, remember to hit that like button, leave a comment, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. And for all those who came to my channel and subscribed, thanks to Big Guy Appetite, I appreciate everything he does for me. Um, and I appreciate y'all for following me, subscribing to my channel, and welcome to the my royal family. Um, pour this in here. Um, so today has been a busy day for me. I went, I got up this morning late, but I slept in a little bit because I needed to. Um, but I got up and... Got my dishes done from last night because I was a little lazy last night and didn't get them done. Um, got my dishes done last night. Uh, from last night. And cleaned up a little. Went to Sam's, no Sam's Club. Went to Publix out here. Got a few groceries after that. Brought them home, put them away. And had to run to... Uh, CBS to get my second shot my vaccine shot so I'm all done with my vaccine my arm is sore I don't know if I'll get any side effects this time I know I did last time I got headaches well I have a slight headache I had headaches behind the eyeballs and I was tired for a whole week and they say usually it happens on the second one but who knows what I might get this time hopefully nothing <laughs> hopefully nothing then after that was done, I had a foot doctor's appointment um, because I have what they call charcoal foot. It's due to diabetes. The uh, bones in your foot start to crumble like old cement. And uh, yeah, so went to get that check. Um, he's helping me out with that. Right now I've got to uh, take it easy. Uh, my left foot, that's my right foot. My left foot, he had to check the toe I have on there because before we bought this house, I was getting a little upset with um, some guy that takes care of the uh, credit reports, you know, and just wants to see how your credit reports are and when your bank statements and stuff. And there was a dollar ninety eight missing on the bank statement, and he wanted that a dollar ninety eight. Okay, out of all these other bank statements, big bill mountain money coming out a dollar ninety eight. I'm so frustrated. I got mad and I kicked my sewing machine um case. This was back at the end of December or the beginning of January. One of the two. And so he was looking at the lump on my big toe. I knew I broke it. But I didn't know how bad I broke it. I didn't really hurt or anything and you know it hurt for a while until it healed. But it's got a little bulge on it now where the, your big toe bends, the, 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 um, knuckle joint, whatever. And, um, he did an x-ray and I did break it pretty good. It's healed. But the problem is part of the knuckle of the toe, the bone broke off and went into the ligament around my toe and tore it. And so it's stuck in that ligament and it's causing a little bulge. So he says if it bothers me, he can go in there and take the piece of bone out and stuff. It don't bother me. So we're not we're not gonna mess with it. We're just gonna leave it the way it is. So alright, now I want to try this chibichi. So let me go ahead. Get cracker. Cracker. Chip. I had crackers last night. Okay. Some chips. A little bit of this mayonnaise. I love this mayonnaise. Okay. A little bit of that. And let's try their chibi. This is a lot 
Atreviche. Like I said, my Spanish ain't not that good. My Spanish accent or anything. I've been a white girl in Kansas for a while. Lost my California talk. Ooh, and a little bit of avocado on that. Okay. One more thing. Gotta have, gotta have. Couple drops of the sauce. Here we go. Mm. Mm. And it's, this is shrimp, Chiviki. You have two options. I chose shrimp. You have one with fish. I like shrimp a lot. Oh, that's good. It's good, but they don't be be, be big guy appetites. I I made his. Mm -mm. That's good. All right. Look at that big old piece of chili randal hair. Y'all want a bite? Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. I love chili randals. They're so good. I like the soft one and I like crunchy ones. <coughs> Pardon me. Like I said in my videos before, I have a bad esophagus. Anything cold bothers it. Let's try this mix. Anyway. Not bad. Not as good as my grandma's, but it's good. Eh, let's try this. Mmm. Nobody can screw up reef high beans. If they do, they got issues. Those are good. Alright. So. Look at this in here. Oh my god. I'm loving this Chibichi. Don't come after me because I say it wrong. I'm Hispanic, but... <sighs> Never learned Spanish because my dad didn't want us to. I learned a little bit of Spanish. This wasn't the nice words. <laughs> I'm hoping to learn more Spanish because I would love to more learn Spanish more than... Because my grandma always talked to me in Spanish, but I never understood it. But I always say yes to everything. And she could have been told me she was going to cut my head off, and I said yes to it. <sighs> Ooh, a little bit of this sauce. I love this sauce. Hot sauce is so good. Here we go. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I wanted to, um, when I went to CBS to, um, get my shot, I noticed they had some stuff, and I told them, the doctor told me I had, finally have high cholesterol. There's this brand called Gold Abound, and it's heavenly light popcorn, and it's cholesterol-free food. No artificial preservatives, no artificial flavors, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial colors, and no high fruit, fructose corn syrup. And it only has, um, it has, this whole bag has a whole 18 grams of carbs, no sugars. I'm going to try this later on tonight when I hit the munchies. If I am awake, <laughs> but yeah, and excuse my appearance, I really don't care if anybody likes me with my makeup off or on. That made me who I am. 
<laughs> Anyways, I'm in a goofy mood right now. When I'm really tired, I'm goofy. And I like being goofy because I need to be in a good mood right now because um, two more days. My dad's birthday, he would have been 90 some years old. He passed away 21 years ago, or 20 years ago, actually. He passed away 20 years ago. And I miss him. But he's in a better place. He doesn't have to worry about cancer no more. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Text me on my other phone. All right, so bite into this chili riano again. Yeah, another piece. Mm. I eat big pieces of these because I love it. Another big piece. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So cheesy. Okay. I'm sorry guys, I have to straighten my leg out. This one with the bad foot hurts really bad. Refried beans. Refried beans. Okay, Mexican rice. Mm. And this is all just so good. It's amazing. This is the only. I think this is the second Mexican rice we're not here. I've ordered from. And it's a tell you the truth, it's better than the last one I ate at. So. Mmm. Mmm. I love chili rios. One of my favorite foods. My, my first favorite Mexican food is tacos. Mmm. Rice beans. Mm. Oh. So some more of this. This is so good. Some of that juice on here. I should have grabbed my my lemon juice out of the refrigerator. Could have put some lemon juice on this. That's our lime. That lime and lemon juice. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's so good. Now, I was talking to my foot doctor today because he was wondering what other health issues I had, and I told him all of them. And he's all like, You got stomach issues, gastroparesis, and all this and that. I go, Yeah. And he's like, Are you on any medications for any of your other illnesses? I was like, No, just my diabetes. I said, The doctor I have right now prescribed me. Uh, medicine for my high cholesterol about a week, couple weeks ago. Well, that first one um, made me break out the rash and, and I was scratching a lot. So I stopped taking it. 
I said, he just prescribed me a new one. I go, I started taking that one. Then I decided to read up on it and found out the second one that he gave me. If you have liver problems already or livers, you know, damage, a little bit of liver damage or whatever, don't take it because it's bad. It will make your, your liver worse. So, I stopped taking it. So, he's like, well, what do you take, what do you do for the relief of all your other health issues, your body aches and stuff? I said, um, gummies. He goes, oh, Okay. He goes, um, you talking about MJ? I was like, yeah, yeah. I said, I do that. And I said, it helps with the body ache and stuff. My stomach issues. Um, not, no problem. Um, most medications and doctors give me pills or stuff for my, my problems. It's just a temporary fix. And medications actually kills you faster than anything else. Because it doesn't really help your body in the long run. It's a temporary fix. And natural herbs helps your body more. It saves your body actually. So. He's like good. He goes well if you're doing that and it's helping you. you know, I, he's like okay. Hmm. As I told him, my doctor's out in Kansas. We're all okay with me doing it that way. Because they even approved that. Even agreed and approved that it does help. Better than regular medicine. So. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's so good. He did ask me about my eyesight. He goes, how's your eyes? I go, they're good. I just had um, cataract surgery done on them. Um, about a year ago, and I have twenty twenty vision. As far as close up seeing close, I don't have. I have to wear readers and stuff. Because when you have cataract surgery, it's only to fix your vision from far away. So near side it, your near side it gets fixed. Far side it, it doesn't. So I told him I said, but um. I do. I have an appointment with an eye doctor here. Not until the end of the month. April 31st. To get my eyes checked. Because I have in my left eye here. Hemorrhage going on. With some blood vessels behind my eye. And before I left Kansas last year, my diabetic doctor was looking in my eyes. And in this eye, he saw a big blood vessel hemorrhaging really bad. I mean, it was bleeding bad. I had no clue. I think when I went to go see him, he saw it. I called my eye doctor from his office. And she's like, no. She goes, I don't think so. She goes, it might just be the ones that, you know, are slowly hemorrhaging and stuff. Until I had to go in her office that day because my diabetic doctor's like, no, you're going to check her eye. So I went in. She checked my eye and she's like, oh my God, he's right. That immediately did they do the laser surgery. They waited till the following week. And they did it to stop the hemorrhaging. And they did. But I also have other little blood vessels back there that have been hemorrhaging for a while. And those need to be fixed too so they're going to go ahead and do those too but now that I'm out here got to get seen get those fixed mm. oh. so 
Oh no. It's all good. I'm strong. I'm a fighter. I got a lot of other issues I want to do. Like, like, I have a colonoscopy to do next week because I think, like I said, that polyps they found might have turned into cancer already because I'm having issues. But I'm okay. I will pray that it is nothing and that it's just that more grew and they just need to remove them. Mm. Yeah, it's so good. There's another Mexican restaurant that I went to months ago. Probably about four or five months ago. And they had chibichi. It was so dry and not even no juice. This has juice and everything in it. It's so good. This one is a lot better than that. But I guess it still doesn't beat the guy appetizer. <laughs> oh. This is so good. Mm. I just got my shirt. I just got my shirt. Okay, a little bit of beans. Not big on beans. I love the rice. They kind of had too much rice. Um, because it makes my stomach swell. Due to the um, stomach problems. Mm. I'm in heaven right now. That's so good. Oh, good. That yummy to my tummy. That yummy to my tummy. It's good. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good, 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 good. Uh. I think I eat a little bit more and I call it because this is a lot of food. I think I have a chili riano left over for tomorrow and a lot of chibichi and rice and beans. Mm. It was me. Oh, my God. I love this stuff. It's so good. Yeah, so anyways. I did tell my youngest daughter I'm heading up to Arizona in July. And she was like, oh man, she says, I want to see my sister too. And she's working. And she's getting ready to get promoted as assistant manager before she moves out here. So, but, um, yeah. Well, I'm going up there in July. So I'm going to go see your sister, my grand boys, and hook up with um, Big Eye Appetite and hopefully do a collab.
That was good. So. Anyways. Mmm. That was delicious. Anyways. I think I am done. And full. And gonna relax a little bit now. Watch some more TV. Then go to bed. I'm in a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Tomorrow they're doing an ultrasound in my heart. And they're going to be doing ultrasounds in my other organs. But quite a few on my heart. So different stuff on my heart and everything. So. And. It's going to take them. They, from what I know, it's going to take an hour and a half to get all this done. I hate when I email for an hour and a half. It's just no doctor's office. So. But anyways, I appreciate everybody subscribing to my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. I truly appreciate Big Guy Appetite sharing my video and stuff. Um, I love him and Mama so much. They're they're awesome people. So, um, thank you everybody for joining the my royal family. I appreciate it. And don't forget, once a month, I will be doing giveaways. The next giveaway is this month, and it will be next week sometime. Um, all you got to do is look for that video that has the uh, trivia question in it. And then whoever, um, I will pick, not the first person this time. I will see who will get the trivia question right. And I will go in there and just figure out who I'll pick. I'll open it up and I'll just go, that person. <laughs> on my comments, but it has to be on the comments on YouTube. Um, so until then, and I always pick two people. So until then, I will see you then. Um, I will have another video out Friday. Or Thursday, who knows? <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for joining me on this video. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I'm trying to get up there, you know, so I can do lives because I know it's going to be awesome. So, <laughs> until then, I will see y'all. Thank you. Love you all.